Calling Microsoft's recent purchase of Activision Blizzard a surprise would be an understatement. They've taken such a huge risk by buying a company with, at this point, such a heinous legacy. But these surprise purchases of huge studios is not new for Microsoft. The previous studios they bought were less troubled, yes, however, they did some crazy things. Remember when they bought Bethesda out of nowhere last year, or when Phil came on stage on E3 and then casually announced they acquired 5 studios back to back? Wild times. It may seem random at first, but there has to be some kind of pattern to whoever or whatever kind of team is making these huge purchase decisions. It just can't be random. They can't be randomly picking up teams that are just big enough. Welcome and thank you for joining this meeting everyone. Today the head of our Throwing money at things department wanted to announce the new studio will be purchasing. It looks like everyone's here so you can make the announcement. Oh yeah, the announcement, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I was just shuffling through some paperwork. Uh, let me just... I thought about this for a very long time and it was a very hard decision, but at the end of the day I decided that we as a company should go with Bethesda. Um, we already own that one. Fuck. And I use that pattern, which I'm not even sure exists yet, to predict what studio Microsoft will buy next. But how am I gonna do that exactly? Well, it's simple. By writing incomprehensibly stupid code. This prophecy in the form of a Python script has a list of studios Microsoft currently owns and a list of studios big and relevant enough for Microsoft to consider buying. First, the program goes through the articles of the companies already purchased from right before they were bought. So for example, for Bethesda, that would be 2020. The program checks for the mentions of the company Microsoft, Phil himself, and some other words. It also checks for patterns across different articles. Then, the program does the exact same thing for every company in the possible to buy company list. And it compares the two and each comparison is scored. The company with the highest score will be the program's final prediction. So now, let's run the code. One thing I didn't realize when I initially hit run was the fact that my code was extremely unoptimized. And even if it wasn't, it would still take a lot of time to run as it went through and analyzed hundreds, if not thousands of articles from the internet. Which meant that coupling its long-taking nature with bad optimization, something a Microsoft-owned company loves as well, so it's topical, 16 times the detail. It took an eternity to complete. I ran the code and waited for a while, and when I saw that it didn't even make a dent in its progress, I opened Yakuza like a dragon and started playing. Great game, by the way. I played for a couple of hours, and when I checked back, the program only completed like quarter of the work that it was supposed to do. So then I opened the game again, and then I continued playing for a couple of more hours, then I played a little Risk of Rain, and then I went out to eat, and when I came back, it was barely complete. Like, it completed like 15 minutes ago. Which is a ridiculously long amount of time. I could have prevented it taking this long, uh, but I was an idiot at the time of writing this code, so I couldn't, and I did not. Uh, but we have a result nonetheless. And now, time for the results. The program's prediction was... If this ends up happening, the code told you so. If it doesn't, you can't predict everything with logic and math. See, I'm playing on both sides, so I come on top either way. I am pretty sure I don't really need to say this, but I will just to be safe because I saw other YouTubers who talk about similar stuff uh, say it. This is obviously not financial advice. I repeat, it is not financial advice, so don't take it as such. Anyways, see ya. Yeah, that was probably like my worst see ya ever. Anyways, see ya.